Good morning, everyone, and happy Tuesday. We are here near Springfield, Illinois, in a KOA campground. And this is kind of out of town quite a ways. It's in the country, but it's just beautiful out here um, and so quiet. So if you are looking for a place just to get away from it all, there's no highway noise. All we're hearing is a lot of birds <laughs> and an occasional uh, leaf blower type of thing but otherwise it's so so quiet here so I mean they're typical KOA sites you know but they put us in one right near the woods so Snuggles is loving that cheers well, coffee wake it up good morning morning take your Snuggles out like he that, loves you? outside yeah good Little lady, on the other hand, went to go hide. <laughs> she didn't want to go outside. He's, um, he knows. Yeah. But I thought today, I've been getting a lot of questions about the cats. You know, we have Snuggles and Little Lady that we're taking with us on this journey, and we've always taken them camping since we've gotten them. So I thought I'd talk a little bit about the cats and kind of some of the things that we use when we travel with them. I had a couple questions in terms of what we've been doing for the pheromones and also for the cat kennel that we use in our back seat. So I'm gonna show you that. Okay, so this is the spray that we've been using and there's a couple different kinds on, on you know, Amazon, but I read all the reviews and this one had really good reviews. It's called Fell Away Classic. And I got the large size because, you know, it goes pretty fast if you're using it a lot. But we usually do three or four sprays. This is for traveling inside the kennel. And we do that at least an hour or two before we leave. And it's been working great. In fact, it's been working so well that they were actually being friendly with each other yesterday, which never, ever happens. They were kind of snuggling up together and Snuggles was even giving Little Lady a bath and that's never ever happened. And um, here's what we put them in in the truck. It's called the Sport Pet Design um, Kennel or Pen. And it's got two wire doors on each side that are pretty sturdy so um, they can't get out of there obviously works really well and then the front you could use this for small dogs as well at least that's how it's advertised i'll show you kind of it's got this mesh screen so they can look out and the top well not the top i guess just the front they can look out and see us and we can talk to them and so it's kind of nice that way we put their cushions in there and it's pretty comfortable for them We've tried letting them out before, and that didn't work so well to give them free roaming of the truck because they were a little anxious about that. So we like using this kennel. Okay, another thing that we've used is, well, Ron did this, didn't you, Ron? <laughs> yeah, we made the wall. He made it possible so that it's really easy to change our cat litter for, in the trailer here. And do you want to just show him the little yeah. door? Here's our normal storage. And he made a partition under mm -hmm. here. I made a wall right there. You can see inside. Can't see much, but I get this out. And I slide it out. Uh -huh. Then I take the bucket. Yeah. Cat litter in there. And it just we have our litter genie in there. Scoop it out back in there. Yeah. And, and so Ron usually takes care of the cat litter. He's such a such yeah. an amazing man. <laughs> so but yeah. yeah, this is all done from outside now. So it's nice and easy. Easy to get out. And then you don't have to smell the cat litter in the inside yes, the camper. It keeps so, it and I'll show smell. you the little door inside. But that's how that works. It's really slick and you can still get it. You can still get into the little storage there. He's got a few things in there too. And the bed does pop up in there. So if we wanted to access it for bigger things, we can do that. 
So I'm gonna take you inside here and show you a little bit. Okay, my male model has now moved over to the rug. <laughs> he loves this rug. Don't you snuggles? It's so soft. So he sits on there quite a bit. And we brought some of their toys with, you know, just for them to play with. So we try to normalize the routine and just some of their things from home so they're not as anxious. I think that really helps a lot too, if you can normalize things a little bit. And then over here, I'll show you where the little door is. Oh, before I do that, underneath the table, we have this little ledge. I think it kind of goes over the wheel well. It's way over there. And that's where I keep their food and water, at least their dry food, because it's out of the way. We don't keep stepping in it or tripping on it. So that works great. Oh, I also got this. <laughs> Forgot about that. Um, we just recently got this. It's called Waggle, and it's a mo pet monitoring system. So that if we are gone for the day, like we are going to go into Springfield today to look around, we can monitor our things when we're gone because it's going to get up to almost 90 here today. We're going to have the air on here in a bit. So I can monitor from my cell phone and make sure what the temperature is in here and I get notifications like if the electricity goes off or if the temperature gets too high or the humidity gets too high or anything. It notifies me. So that really gives us peace of mind you know, when we're leaving for a long period of time that everything's fine. Here, on this bottom bunk, we have a little cushion for Snuggles to look out the window. And I don't know where I got that. It's been a while, but it's just a little cushion for him. Um, we have little ladies' pet bed up on top to look out the window. So we just try to make everything really pet friendly. That's been her little cushion for quite a while, so she likes that one. However, when she's anxious, anxious, she goes behind our couch. So, and sometimes it's hard to get her out of there. <laughs> but lately she's been going in there. Okay, and here, down here is the little door that Ron, he kind of made a hole here and we got this on Amazon as well. It's a little pet door that flips, but our cats have not figured out how to do the in and out with the little door. It's got a cute door on here, but um, so we just tape it up and <laughs> prop it open because we're worried they wouldn't be able to get in there to use it. We're gonna have to do some teaching, I think. But anyway, that's worked really well for them. And again, to keep the smell and mess out of here of the cat litter. And little lady, just so you know, she doesn't like to go for walks. We've tried. <laughs> You almost have to start cats when they're really little. And I'm gonna keep trying every once in a while I take her out on a leash and harness and just kind of try. She usually just flips over. <laughs> like, just kind of flips over on her side like, like you're playing dead almost. She doesn't wanna go. So, but we continue to try. Snuggles, we started him when he was only six, month, six months old. He was, we got him when he was a kitten. Might have even been five months old. But anyway, he was really young. We got him a tiny little leash, tiny little harness. Um, and he's, so he's used to it. But little lady, she she's just very anxious. She's what they call a scaredy cat. <laughs> so she likes to stay inside. And right now she is, she's behind the couch over here, um, hiding out because this is normally the time of the day if we're gonna travel, this is when we take off. And she knows that. She knows our normal routine. So she's like, oh, I'm not going anywhere. I'm hiding. So we usually have to open the bed to dig her out of there when we are traveling <laughs> to put her in the kennel. But anyway, those are a few hints that we have about, you know, traveling and camping with cats. Hopefully that helps. If you have any other questions, please just write them in the comments and I'll try to help you. And then I will put some of those links in the description below if you want to check those things out that we've been using that we've found really helpful 
And I just to let you know, I am an Amazon affiliate. So if I do put links in there, I do make a very small amount percentage um, off anything you would purchase through that link. But know that the prices that you see are the same as if you didn't use the link. So the prices are not any different. But anyway, I will put those on there. And then if you have any ideas, maybe you travel with your cats or dogs, small dogs. You know, they're not much different. I think Snuggles thinks he is a dog sometimes. <laughs> Seriously. Um, give us some ideas in the comments below because I would love to know more ideas uh, of things we could do to make our traveling easier with cats. Anyway, we're going to get going to Springfield and check out some of the things there are to see there and i will do a little video on that tomorrow i hope you all have a great day and god bless since your